this morning while some of you were coming in from the bar. And uh, <laughs> early this morning, and as I was walking, I was coming back through, and I saw, had a whole picture, beautiful, beautiful view of the Marriott Hotel that we're staying in. And right above it was the American flag. And I was like, God, thank you. We still, even though it's a crazy time, we still live in the greatest country in the world. Yeah. Yeah. We, we still live in the land of opportunity. And that's an opportunity that no other country has. It doesn't matter who's in the White House, what matters is who's in your house. That's the bottom line. So we are, and I was just filled with gratitude, attitude of gratitude. You hear me talk about all, all the time, attitude of gratitude. When you wake up in the morning, that's the first thing that should be on your mind. Attitude of gratitude. You saw Mark with his family up there. Each of us should have a why. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Attitude of gratitude. Imagine if you're feeling down or you're feeling depressed and you're feeling low. Here's an assignment that I have for you going home. I'm only gonna talk about 10 minutes. I got, I'm gonna whip right through these because you guys have heard enough motivation, inspiration. So I'm just gonna talk for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna hang out with you guys for 10 minutes. But here's an assignment that I want you to have. Every night, before you go to bed, I want you to put the, uh, the shoes that you're gonna wear for the next morning underneath your bed. That's your assignment, okay? And when you get up in the morning and you're wondering, where are my shoes? Oh, that's right, Rich Norton told me that I have to put them underneath the bed. So what you're gonna do while you're getting down, guess what? You're looking for your shoes, you're on your knees. What a great way to start the day. Thank you, God, for this country. Thank you for the land that I live in. Thank you for my family. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for all that you do in my life. I love you, Lord. What a great way to start the day. Attitude of gratitude. So I'm going to whip through this because you've heard a lot of motivation and we can talk for five days about motivation, but eventually we've got to go to work, right? I mean, it's like, hey, all this enthusiasm is great. I love these. You know, that this is great. We come to these meetings. It's awesome. I'm here for the festivities. Yay. When do we start partying again? It's time to go to work, right? So the theme is getting it done in 2021. So where do we go from here? We got the motivation, we got the inspiration, we got the excitement, where do we go from here? Getting it done in 2021. For my friend from Mississippi, Charles Wright, it's get her done in 2021. But I'm gonna run through this. Schedule your success. Most people in life, they don't have a plan. You have to have a routine. When I'm meeting people for the very first time and they say, I wanna be successful, I want to be a winner. I want to make it happen with Retriever. One of the first questions that I ask them, even if they've been with Retriever for a while, because people will call me up like, Rich, man, what do you do? I just want to be successful. I want to be, I want to win. I want to be a champion. One of the things I'll ask them is, tell me about your mornings. It's like, ooh, okay. Well, uh, 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 I get up around eight, nine. Have you heard me talk about this yesterday? Winners wake up early. If you were to interview multi-millionaires and ask them, what time do you get up in the morning? I promise you, nobody's gonna say, I get up when at 10 o'clock, 11, I'm talking about the people that make it happen. What's your morning routine like? And I have built my morning routine up because I wanna be a winner in every phase of my life. What good is it to be number one with Retriever and have the rest of your world fall apart, right? What good is it to be number one and not be physically healthy, right? So I made a decision years ago that 
as I've gotten older, I see the importance of this that I want to get in shape. So I said, okay, I'm going to start doing push-ups. I'm going to start doing sit-ups. I'm going to start going for a walk. And I said, the first day, I got down, and I did about five. And I was out of breath. But I started. Did about a couple sit-ups. I'm like, oh, man, this hurts. Went for a walk. I was out of breath. And then as time went on, it went up to 20. Then it went up to 50. Then it went up to 100. Then it went up to a couple hundred. This is part of my routine. Now, there are some mornings, in fact, there's most mornings, that when I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking about it, do I really want to do push-ups and sit-ups? The answer is, no, I hate this. I hate this. But in order for me to achieve what I want in life, I need to do this, right? Breakfast comes around. It's like, do I really want to eat a banana and some fruit? No, I want a freaking eggs and cheese and all that stuff. Bacon and I want all that. But as it went along, now here I am. I'm a grandpa now. This year, I'm going to be 60 years old. I don't know. I, 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 it's unbelievable that I'm going to be 60. I don't even know what I'm going to do when I grow up because I'm still a kid. I mean, I'm, I'm a doofus kid. I have fun. I enjoy it. But this morning, and I'm not bragging, but I'm like, this is the way I worked myself up. This morning, I actually did 525 push-ups, 525 sit-ups, and a 35-minute walk. That's what I worked my way up to. So Grandpa's got it going on right now. <laughs> way up that. Get into a morning routine. I promise you, you're going to feel better. And, when, and, and right now, as I stand here, I feel better than I have in my entire lifetime. I don't take any medicine at all. Because my doctor a few years ago said, you, you, you get your cholesterol's high, your blood pressure's high, this is high, that's high, you're out of whack, we can put you on pills or you can change your lifestyle. I said, I'm going to change my lifestyle because I want to live and enjoy the success that I'm having. I want to play with my grandkids. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy. So the routine is very, very important. Stick to a routine. We talked about this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Know where you're going. Have a routine. People say to me, Rich, when do you sleep? I've heard people say that. You do all this stuff. When do you sleep? My butt is in bed by 8.30 every day. Like, I've stayed up late. I've been partying. I stayed up to 10, 15 last night. I snuck out of the party, right? So I'm getting a good seven hours of sleep every night, and I feel great, and I sleep good, and I sleep enough. Every second counts. Don't waste time. Number two, stay focused. Get rid of all the distractions. You've heard wonderful talks over the last couple days. And uh, I, I don't remember who, who heard this, but or who said it. But we get, you know, sometimes people will come up to me and they'll say, Rich, do you know that I get offers all the time from other merchant service companies? Really? What the hell do you think I get? Okay. <laughs> if you're getting them, right, they're going to fly me all over the world, right? So what do you think I get? You, Rich, do you know that I can get 125%? And that, that's what they offered me? You know I can get that, right? People start talking that garbage, and people jump from company to company to company to company, and I ask them, how much is your residual? Yeah, right. Oh, it's about 800 a month, but I got 100 from that company, but they stopped paying me. I got 50, now they're not paying me either. This is Retriever. Every year since I've been here for 20 years, every year has been better than the previous year. Make a commitment, stick to this, and don't look back. That's, right. That's what it's all about. You know, people talk about, well, I've been offered this other opportunity. There's other opportunities where I can really make some money. What the heck do you think we're doing here? <laughs> we're making a lot of money. You've heard two people talking about millions of dollars and thousands of dollars in residuals, and people are talking, well, I got this other opportunity. I'm going to make a little bit of money over here because it's going to help me. Please. Please, eliminate the distractions. Make the decision. Be all in. You can't serve two masters. Make the decision. I am with Retriever. I'm an RMS rep. I'm 100% into this. I am going forward and I'm not looking back. 
looks amazing. Number six, take action. Be accountable. Accept responsibility for your actions. If there is no action, there are no results. Bottom line. Quit studying and start taking action. I talked about this yesterday and you heard many talk about it. One thing you keep hearing, it's like, go to work, go to work. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Neither do I. I've been doing this a long time. I don't know what I'm doing. Right? There's the, I'm still filling out paper apps with Rich Ursa. Right? Like I try to get on that thing, I'm like, damn, I'm a dumbass. I'm trying to do this now. Here's me. This takes too friggin' long. Give me the paper. Right? So my excuse is, you know, because they're keep improving it, they keep improving it. I was saying to Rich Ursa, I'm waiting till they get to 100% exactly right. Then I'm going to do it. But it's getting there. So get out there. Go talk to merchants. Have fun. Learn. Improve. You're going to keep getting better each and every day. We're going to keep on improving. But don't get to the point like, i got to know everyone. I have, to, I have to know everything about this industry. And then you walk into this business and, because here's the mistake people make. It's like, I'm going to talk to everybody in this room right here. I'm going to learn all their secrets. I'm going to learn the whole presentation. Oh, I like says, I'm putting that in. I like what she says, I'm putting that in. Oh, that's good too, I'm putting that in. Then they walk into a merchant and they just give information overload and they're in there for an hour and a half. You might as well have intermission in the middle because your presentation so long. And at the end, the people say, we have to think about it. Look, you got a card? I love what Dan Bankston said. I'm in and out in 15 minutes. Sometimes people are giving a presentation and it's like the people are saying, I want it. I want the deal. Write me up. And you're saying, hold on. I'm still on page seven in my presentation. I have a little bit more to go here. I'm almost there. almost at the close. Write the deal up. <laughs> they want it. You don't have to give the long, drawn out presentations. You're almost walking in and say, okay, all I need is a void of check and fill out the information. We'll get everything going for you. I had a guy the other day. Goes, what? I'm talking to the guy. He's working on a car. You know, I walked in, and I told a little bit about it. About two minutes. Didn't even give any part of the presentation. What do I need to do to get this started, whatever you're doing? <laughs> well, we just need to avoid a check and just fill out the information. We'll get everything going for you. Wrote him up. Showed him what he was getting. Right? And that's it. So keep it simple. And then, number seven. Help as many people as you can. We rise up by lifting up others. When you help others achieve their dreams, you're going to achieve your own dreams. I'm at the point in my life, I'm going to come out and hang without, hang out with you guys here. I'm at the point in my life, people say to me, Rich, when are you going to retire? And I'm like, do what? I mean, I, like even when COVID came around, you know, I just, I'm watching the news. It's like, stay home. Everybody stay home. We're going to die. Stay home. And we know it's real. We do. But I'm sitting there watching TV and listening. And, you know, I love my wife. I love you because this would be a video. I love my wife. <laughs> She's awesome. I love spending time with her. I do. I do. I, I, I mean, that, she's my why, and my children are my why, and she's my number one supporter. She is awesome. She really is. But there's time, like, I can't stay home. I can't hang around home for kids. Like, even two, three days, it's like, I gotta get out. I gotta go find some merchants. And I love what I do. But I don't certainly do this for the money anymore. I'm very competitive, in case you haven't figured that out. I was like, here I am, I'm, I, I told Brian eight years ago, I don't want to compete in the contest anymore, Brian. And in my mind, I'm still competing, right? Because I get on the board like all of you do, right? Because we're all competitive. It's like, oh, freaking Frank Robles, he's already got 11 in for the year. <laughs> First day, I'm like, I'm behind already. And that's how my mind is wired since I'm so competitive, right? Like, I got to get Frank, man. I gotta, and I put the pressure on myself. But I don't do this for the money anymore. I love what I but I love helping people. And I want all of you to know, whether you're within our group, Dan's group, Chuck, Dan, Dave Bigley's group, 
that I'm here for you as much as I possibly can be. You, know, you have my phone number. I have a website as well. You know, we're promoting it. It's, it's rmssupercrew.com. And on that website, we are adding so many things on there. I do a show, as many of you know, RMS Sales Training and Inspiration. Right now, we've got 100 shows out there. And my goal and desire to have shows on everything. How to read Merchant State. It's all on there. Everything's on there. They're for you. We got tra there, there's a password for training materials. It's tools with a capital T. It's got presentations, it's got material. Everything's on there. There's videos. We used to bring people directly to the corporate office and they would sit in and uh, Mark talked about that. And all that's videoed as well. It's training videos, orientation. We did that from a couple years ago. There's a password for that. The password is um, RMS, all lowercase, 32095. So all that material is for all you guys. And I love doing it. But even beyond that, I know that I am blessed to be a blessing. And I want to remain as humble as I possibly can. I know where all my blessings come from. I truly do. It is from my Lord and Savior. And that's who I serve. He's an awesome God, and I've been blessed in so many ways, in spite of me being screwed up and done stupid things over the years. He gives me grace, forgiveness, mercy, and I want to bless people. I serve in a ministry called Hands and Feet Foundation on the west side of Jacksonville. If you're ever feeling sorry for yourself, come and join us. These people are living in the streets. They're as low as possibly can be. They don't know if they're going to eat that day. In fact, sometimes their only meal is when they come. They serve people seven days a week. I go out there every Saturday. Every other Saturday I preach. My wife and I go out there. We bring guitar out there. And we have church with everybody. And we have an awesome time. And it's great. And all the people know is that it's Rich and Lee were the music people. They don't know, and I can tell you guys this, and I, all the glory goes to God. They don't know that we give over probably 150 grand a year to that ministry. Thank God we can do that. I set a goal, and it's all about goals, no matter what level that you achieve. It's not about money anymore. I set a goal a while back, a couple years ago, I want to give away a million dollars a year. And I'm working towards that goal. I'm probably a third, almost halfway there. And I look forward to getting to that goal. And then when I get past that, I want to give two million a year. And I love to give. And the greatest gift that you can have is giving. Because when you give to other people, you get more out of it than they do. Mm -hmm. You want joy in your life? You want happiness? People say, I don't have enough joy. I don't know have enough happiness. Well, you give her. It doesn't have to be money all the time. Give your time. Mm -hmm. Go out and treat people with love, encouragement, respect. Give them a hello. Give them a smile. You see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. Mm -hmm. Go out and bless people wherever you go. Encourage people wherever you go. Make a difference. We are given so much here. Whether you're just starting out or you've seen the blessings over the last year, two, three, four years, it's time to really understand that we're blessed to be a blessing. Selfish people are the most unhappiest people I've ever met. There's a sermon right there, right? right? Mm -hmm. Selfish people are the most unhappiest people I've ever met. The joyous people I've ever met, the most joyful people, are the ones that love to give. So be a giver. I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. We are the retriever family. We really are. And we don't take that for granted. We really mean that. We've had a great couple of days. And Brian, we always say this. This is the best summit ever. This really, I, 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 for those of you, what do you guys think? It's been yeah. a great summit. Thank you. It's been inspirational and it's amazing. It's great.
great. It's fantastic. So get excited about the future. We're going to get it done in 2021. And I want you to say that throughout the years. And I want you guys to call each other. Before you leave, if you don't have five new phone numbers, do that. Okay, make that your goal. Call each other. This is your family. If you're feeling down, discouraged, call up somebody. If you need some help, call up somebody. Let's work together. Let's build the greatest company ever. In order to have great team effort, we need great individual effort. Let's do it together. And let's encourage one another. Let's build each other up. And let's have a freaking fantastic 2021. And let's get it done. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. Let me ask you to stand up. I'm going to bring Brian Cantor up. And this is my dear brother and friend. I am thankful to be on the journey with this man right here. Every year has gotten better and better. Yes, it has. And Sean talked about that. We walked the beaches of the world together. We laughed together, cried together. We praised the Lord together. We've been all over the place together. I love this dude right here. You're awesome. So he's going to close us in prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. You'll be hearing more uh, about products as we go. We wanted this to be inspirational, educational, not a lot about products. I think we, I think we, I think we hit the right note. Uh, I promise you, I'm working hard. I'm working really hard. I told you I was transparent. I told you what we're looking for in a new processor. Maybe it's World Bank. I, I hope it is. I don't, I don't know, but we're looking. So I will bring you up to date on new products. This next year is going to be product, 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 and I think before that you're going to hear some really exciting products. Until we meet again, Kurt, may God bless you. Oh, may he fill you with a peace that is, that exceeds our understanding in these difficult times. <coughs> may he give you a joy. May he fill your homes with joy. May God give you health. We pray for anyone, even here in this group, that has health issues. We even think about Jeff, who we heard from. May God give you good health. And uh, may, he, may, may he show you his love, because he loves you. He loves you no matter how screwed up we are. He loves you no matter how short you fall. He loves you no matter how much you sin. And may he show you his love this year. May he give you an amazing grace that we all need. And God filled this group with hope. Hope, hope, and hope. God bless you all. Safe travels. We'll see you soon.